Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our September 10th Palmer City Council meeting. So, one of the things I remember growing up is uh, my little brother had an interest in a hobby of ham radio. And he set up, he, he got a ham radio, he learned how to do it, he had to study to learn Morse code, and then eventually got his extra license to actually use voice and communicate with that. And that was back in the 70s. And it was, especially in Alaska, that's kind of one of the ways that people have communicated with other places, you know, hundreds and thousands of miles away. Well, with this technology, that's something that happened in 1977. Uh, in August of that year, Edward, Joe, Edward Holmes of Palmer made contact with Mitsushiro Ishiguro of the Saroma Japan. And they started up having a discussion and, and getting to know each other. And they, uh, they, they made friends and they managed to visit and they inspired others. And so we uh, sponsored and had a city sister city program with Saroma Japan back in 1980. We uh, passed a resolution and started that relationship. And much, much of the contact has been with students going from middle school and high school back and forth. Japanese students coming to Palmer and Palmer students going to Japan, I believe, most every year. And uh, Palmer's been part of that. And then also there's been some adults that have uh, traveled back and forth. But uh, at this meeting, September 10th, during communications appearance, we will have, uh, I think it's a nine students and... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see eight students, maybe, and four adults uh, that are over visiting, and they'll come and speak to the council and uh, present to us. So that'll be under communications and appearance. And then uh, in uh, actual agenda items, we've got a couple of action memorandums, which is under the consent agenda. Consent agenda is a little different. It's a special part of the agenda that if the agenda is passed, then everything in the consent agenda happens at that point, unless the council sees it and they decide they want to talk about it or they want to pull it out and have a discussion and then vote on it individually. Um, those two items have to do with, uh, we have boards and commissions and uh, we have people you know, volunteer and get appointed to those seats. And we've had a couple of people resign and I think we have one to appoint. And so these are things that people are volunteering for. And so they've resigned Technically, we have to recognize it, although, you know, if someone resigns, I think they're basically done with that board and commission. But uh, so those are kind of set there as automatic things. But unless the council, if the council decides they want to, to pull it out of the consent agenda, they can do that. And then, of course, there's August 27th, uh, regular meeting minutes. And then we have a public hearing about the 2024 DUI Enforcement Activities Grant for the Palmer Police Department. I believe that's a state grant. I think we get it every year. Um, and it's some money to go towards a little bit of extra enforcement for looking for drunk drivers, etc., cetera. Um, or DUI, dr driving under the influence of whatever um, substances. Um, I've noticed as I commute into the base, uh, there's been a lot of Anchorage cops stopping people uh, a little bit more often lately. So, uh, that's uh, probably going to be coming up now that the fair's over. And we've got two action memoranda. They're what uh, they're called um, non-objection for liquor license renewal. And it's for Matt Nuska Brewing and the Moosehead Saloon. Those are ones that the state, um, they're the ones that do the licensing for liquor licenses. But they like to ask whatever municipality is involved if they have any objection. And, you know, the only way we'd have objection is if they're, you know, not keeping up with their licenses and taxes and, and that kind of thing. But it's usually no objection. And that's it. It's a pretty short meeting. Also, in other news, on September 26th, the Rotary is sponsoring a candidates forum. Uh, we believe we have five candidates running for Palmer City Council. There's two seats open. And we've got that old-fashioned method of there's one bucket and five candidates are in it. And then the, when you go to the polls, you get to vote for up to two. And the top two vote getters will get the council seats for that. Uh, I believe these would be three-year terms. 
Um, but anyway, so the Rotary has come up with uh, doing a, a forum at, I think it's 6 o'clock on Thursday, the 26th of September. Um, for those interested, it might be a good time to find out more about the, the candidates who are running for the Palmer City Council. So, this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our September 10th City Council meeting.